Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are, thank you for joining us for our webinar today. I will just wait here for a few more minutes for all the attendees to join us. So please sit back and relax and we'll come on in a few more minutes. Thank you. Good morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, which is our last of our series, before we see you live in person on 31st of August. Today, we have three speakers with us, Michael from BenQ, Shine from Shenzhen with Sonic, and Nick from Medical Tech. So before we begin, just a quick housekeeping announcement. Our speakers will be taking questions. So if you have any questions for them, please feel free to submit your questions via the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. With that, I shall hand over to our first speaker, Michael, over to you. Morning, everyone. My name is Michael. I'm from BenQ, which has been in medical industry since 2001. And has a step, our cooperation, BenQ AB Denture Cooperation has been established in 2014. We have been focused on digital dental technology for years. And today we have a videos regarding our Thank You Digital Orthodontic Service, our QSmile Solutions. 
If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact us after in the QA sessions later. Our customer work flow consists of multiple tasks, including data collecting BIS1, designing personal workflow treatment, IS5, creating ortho model with DM5, and manufacturing a liner with DZ. Our first stage of our QSMAP workflow is data collecting. With our bank intro or our scanner, as known as BIS1, our BIS1 contains a laptop, a scanner, a base for the scanner, and two wires. One connected the laptop to base, the other connected the base to the scanner. Our BIS1 uses our BenQ Digital Life Processing Projection Technology, which has been awarded 2015 Academy Award of Merit. BenQ Digital Life Processing Projection Technology will provide the most precise and accurate colors. As I mentioned before, our BIS1 uses BenQ DL to project high speed and high density structured by. Our BIS1 also has smaller scanner tip which is suitable for all kinds of people, especially people with narrow art or restricted mouth opening. Our BS1 weighs less than 325 grams. It is easier for dentists or assistants to carry around. After done scanning, BS1 can export different format, including STO, a 3D object, depending on the dentist's needs. Our BS1 provides a piece of the depth of bill and captured and 12 meter side that is scanning with. A scanning device can also automatically burn up to 40 degrees Celsius in order to prevent fogging and allow scanner to collect data for either ortho model or KCAM. Here is the specification of our BIS1. It is connected by USB 3.0, can output different format based on the dental needs, and its four arm accuracy is less than 50 micrometers. The next stage is treatment planning by S5. In order to create a beautiful smile for the patients, S5 Beauty provides clean aligner treatment method by using customized digital design workflow. Our S5 core competencies includes extensive clinical experience, thorough research and development, and high efficiency in aesthetic. Here are some of the cases that was treated by S5, as you can see, with the help of S5. Many dental issues can be treated well, including crowded teeth, broken teeth, gap teeth, and even narrow arms. About our S5 workflow, it consists of three different stages. The first stage is to place an order by our customers, then upload patient's data to S5. Data that includes STL bios, intraoral photos, and our panoramic radiography. The next stage is to approve our treatment plan. Once S5 receive the data, they will upload the design treatment plan to the customer, waiting to be approved. Afterwards, the customer can approve the treatment and upload the final plan. Finally, after S5 receives the final plan, they will upload the STL BIOS that allows customer to start manufacturing clean aligners. Our S5 has multiple competitive advantages, including customizable, effective cost control, and high flexibility. It is widely known that the line of treatment requires patients' high cooperation with the help of S5. Dentists can change patients' treatment plan at a short matter of time. It depends on patients' status or condition. We can also control costs by reducing dental visits and modifying the pace of treatment. Let's move to the next stage. After customer receive final STO files, they can print out the ortho model by using our 3D printers. Our 3D printers are known for their high speed and accuracy, high durability, and stability. Our 3D printers has a total area of 1,500 cubic centimeters. That is nearly half the size of the standardized computer host and can be connected through USB. On top of that, the order to increase accuracy, our 3D printers also use our advanced digital light process projection technology, the same technology that is also used on BIS-1. Besides 3D printer, our QSPAN also provides printing material, DM5. The product
properties of our printing material, including higher precision and accuracy, high mechanical strength, and low strength and range, low viscosity so that it can be easily operated, high temperature resistance. Our DM5 is specially made for orthodontic models. By using DM5, dental thermal form machines can be thermal formed directly from 3D printed orthodontic models due to its high temperature resistance ultra high surface hardness and edge stability. Its accuracy is also for many complex parts, including cusp, margin, or even attachments. Last but not least, at the final stage of our QSMA solution, certain thermal form machines are issued and distinctly thermal formed into the light and create gentle orthodontic forces used to move your teeth to the desired position. Our easing is basically transparent and it's able to maintain its patient's appearance. It can be applied on patients about 20 to 22 hours, up to 7 to 14 days. The fact that it has been proved of bad compatibility by multiple third parties. And with the help of attachment, our aligners can create a long last orthodontic force. Our ECD comes with three different thicknesses including 1 millimeters, 0.75 millimeters, 0.5 millimeters. The diameters of the ECQ is 125 millimeters. As you can see from the chart, our ECQ provides the best storage molecules and body temperatures and can be easily formed at the lowest temperature, which means it can be easily operated by dentists, technicians, or even assistants. Biocompatibility. In any possible precipitations of plasticizers are critical points to be verified. Our ECT has been confirmed to not consist any valid asterisk or any other hazardous substance and has been approved of by compatibility by multiple third parties. And here you go. QSMAP, a perfectly designed workbook that gives patients from all over the world with high quality spines. Thank you for your patience. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us by our service email, contact.abd at thankyouabdenker.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have any questions for Michael or regarding BenQ, please feel free to submit your questions via the Q&A button. So while we wait for the questions to come in, let us now move to our second speaker, Shine from Shenzhen with Sonic. Shine, over to you, please. All right, thank you. Can you see me? Yes. Okay, good. So let's share my screen here. You cannot share so much. Is someone um, sharing? Yes, I think. Michael needs to stop sharing his screen first. Um, regarding the question that's been asked from the... Ah, okay, sorry. Um, so we do have two questions that just came in. So maybe we'll let Michael answer these questions first. Uh, the first question would be, can we print other anatomy other than dental? Um, yes, um, we have some of the customer has been use our 3D printers for printout, such as the the or like ears or any any anatomies. It's not. It's basically suitable for any kind of medical service. Okay, great. Thank you. I hope that has answered the question. Thank you very much. So Michael, please uh, stop sharing your screen and we can head over to Shine. So, have you done, Michael? Oh, yeah. Sorry. No worries. So now we will have Shine from Shenzhen with Sonic. Over to you, Shine. Share my screen first. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Oh, depends on where you are, maybe good afternoon or good evening. My name is Shai, and I am the international marketing uh, specialist from the Shenzhen Wisconsin Medical. Uh, and I'm so glad to be here today to give you a brief introduction of who we are and some give you some knowledge of ultrasound's development. Maybe some of you are not very familiar with it. And some, I will give you some guys, guys some uh, product or service with delivery and our marketing strategy. So let's keep into the door. Uh, a little bit information about us. So Shenzhen Wisconsin Medical a technology established in March 2013 and headquartered in Nanshan, Shenzhen, which is located in southern China. And it is a national national head technology interface with independence, intellectual intellectual property rights, and extensive capability in product research and development, manufacturing, and marketing. The company offers product and service for live information support, intelligence ultrasound imaging, and cloud medical service for um, all of all of all of them. Like they are deliver delivered while through the value proposition, professional focus, and specialized product. So far, the point of care ultrasound is our vital business product line. I knew that like this medical fair, including various type of medical cooperation. So first of all, I would like to give our audience a bit information of ultrasound, just in case some of you like not very familiar with it. So we all know that ultrasound was founded in that for the uh, for the first time, and the ultrasound has been applied in a lot of fields such as the industry. Uh, the military and others. After war, uh, the Dr. Duxi applied eight mode ultrasounds uh, in, let me see, in 1954, uh, here's in the timeline, which begins the use of ultrasounds in human. And after that, the clinicians started to use the ultrasounds to assess the cardiac function. Since that, the ultrasound begins become a helpful tour, tours for different medical departments. So in recent 20 years, with the rapid development of cheap technology, the size of the ultrasound is getting smaller, as you can see from since 2000, um, 2001 um, in the timeline. And the, the operation has become more simplified with that said, the bedside point of care ultrasound has commonly used by clinicians. So the ultrasound has expanded beyond the emergency, uh, the ICU, to many other specialties such as the MSK, the pain management, anesthesia, and, 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 and others. And it has become, the ultrasound has become the third eyes of clinicians. And it means that ultrasound is not only used for the, the regular body checking, but also as part of the essential tool during the medical diagnosis and treatment. So therefore, we named it, we named our company after Wisonic. It's because the word combination of wisdom and sonic. We are eager to popularize the inter intelligence point of care ultrasound and make it fully match each particular department and maximize the clinical efficiency. So to do so, we highly contribute our products, research and development manufacturing team, and we invest 15% of revenues in product, re, re, product R&D, and we almost have 150 engineers of who are more than 60% of them owning on master degree. And the picture here is our deputy man managers in the Department of Sales Managing, Research and Development, and Marketing. One of the deputy management I would like to mention here uh, is the second, second gentleman from the right, Dr. Jiang, who graduated from Tsinghua University, and he specialized in biomedical engineering. 
he worked as a research and development director in one of the top medical corporation around around the world like for nine years i guess yeah in nine years and in 2013 he chose resonic and working as the leader of research and development until today so all of the deputy um, managers here they actually serve for the work for the medical fields at least 10 years yeah each of them so i just provide or i just introduce the rich they have a rich introduction of uh, how powerful leadership we have and how powerful um how the large amount of people we do have in our company so next go to our second phase is um, the product and what product and service we deliver. Okay, the second part. So the first internet colors ultrasounds we got is our clover. The name is very funny and interesting, I think, because the clover, the clover usually um, have four leaves and it stands for the love, the faith, the love, and hope. And we hope to bring those four elements to our user and patient. So it's, the Clover is also our start models in the international market, even though it, it has like, it came to the market in uh, the 2015, a couple of years ago, but it's still popular. And it has the 4.9 kilogram with two probe con connectors with excellent image quality. The next one is our Clevia. Clevia is uh, advanced versions. It's kind of advanced advanced versions of Clover. It's like uh, the Map MacBook and MacBook Pro. So we have Clover and Clevia. So Clevia is the upgrade uh, uh, machines. So this one it has 17.3 inch touch screen, and uh, which is the largest. The touchscreen has the largest is the largest in the industry for uh, the laptop ultrasound, and we have also we also have the the greater image with it. And the Clevia is equipped with a dual workflow design, and it can be used with the, the user can use the the, the keyboard or the, or the buttons, or they can choose the touchscreen. Those two systems are completely independent and both can complete all operation independently. So the Clevia also have the auto VTI. So the auto VTI functions can help doctors quickly identify the cardiac, the blood flow spectrum and calculate the heart rate, the VTI, stroke volume, the cardiac output, which improve, improve the measurements accuracy and help doctors quickly evaluate the left ventricular function. The next one, oh, I missed another function is the auto diaphragm. So in the auto diaphragm measurement, uh, the doctors can quickly obtain the displacement, speed, acceleration, and the uh, respiration rate of the, uh, of the patient, which help the clinic to obtain the diaphragm status and evaluate the function. The next one is our um, ultrasound uh, anesthesia dedicated ultrasound snappy. So this machine, this ultrasound machine was designed dedicated for regional anesthesia. It has 19 inch touch screen with like 40, it's kind of 40% larger than the rest of the machine in the middle range market. And the bot in its in and its batteries allowed the users for like it has Seven seven hours battery duration, which can fully perfectly fulfill a doctor's whole day's work. And there are two unique techniques called we needle and we guide for helping the users cle clearly see the needle tips in both implant and out of plant injection. Uh, and here's the a video of our we we needle technique. So you can see here is the needle, uh, the visualization of the needle can clearly be seen under this, this function. 
So our next machine is Labat. It's high-end anesthesia AI machines. The Labat, the Labat, <clears throat> Uh, so it also have the we learn and we need those recognition. Um, and, and another functions I would like to mention in Labat is the AI nerve recogni recognitions during the pay, uh, during the user scanning. The system, the we nerve system, yeah, we call in we call the functions we nerve because we can detect the nerve the bone, the muscle easily during this uh, function. So uh, the, the, the system can intelligently mark the nerve muscle and bone tissue in different colors, which is, which is convenient for doctors to identify the age of them. So, so, so far the larvas can detect five nerves uh, during in these functions. So they are, at least here, so they are uh, interscalum brachial plazas, and the chamber of lumbar's plazas, and so, and so on. So the next one is our piloter. Sorry, back here. Yes, this one. The piloter is the cutting edge tabular ultrasound. You can see it's the size is pretty small, and it's we usually like the people uh, most of the. The people use the piloter, so uh, most of our, our customers are family daughter, and because they think it's pretty portable, it's a very portable model of Visonic, and it, it is completely water, waterproof and full screen design. It just has three, 13.3 inch, and the weight is only 1.9 kilogram. And you, when you use the piloter, you can use it like uh, horizontally and vertically. So things like clavia, it also have the auto diaphragm function can quickly attempt like the patient's diaphragm status. And, and it's, it's also a very popular machine in that market. So oops, the next, the next one I would like to introduce is our applications function. So what I mentioned above is just the specific or special particular functions in the particular machine. But what I'm gonna, going to mention is the below is like the common applic uh, applications functions, like they exist in every each of the machine. The first one is the, our Holofin platform. So by using this platform, by using this platform, user don't need to adjust the focus during the scanning because the focus is everywhere in, among the image. You can see here's the comparison of two image and the image on the left is the ultrasound using the Holobeam platform and the right is the, the image under the traditional platform. Um, you can clearly see that the, the image under the Holobeam platform is more clear with less noise. And the next function is our visual. So the visual, so when the daughter is giving some lecture or workshop to uh, their student, uh, their student or patient, he may need to use to do the demonstration of how to use the ultrasound equipment, how to use the transducer in, or in order to reach a standard ultrasound image. The daughter's has to the doctors has to show not only the image he scanned but it, most of them also want to teach like the position where his transducer is placed so here's when you turn on the we, we show function you can only need to connect the uh, additional camera and the real-time image and the doctor's operations picture will appear on the screen on the same time and you can even, even record the video, the whole lecture if you want. So you can record the, the position of uh, your scanning and uh, the ultrasound image at the same time. 
the next the next function is Wigner function. So this one is basically it's just uh, our Resonate Education Center. So we collect a range of point of care applications to our user, especially for the new users, uh, the first time um, learn ultrasound. So we the 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 material, the learning material combined the text, the image, and video for users to learn, which can shorten their learning period. So our cloud medical functions is, the next part is our cloud medical service. So, <laughs> of our teleconsultation. <laughs> so in these functions, once the clinician can see it in, 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 in my slide, and once the clinicians start the remote consultation, and others people and or other doctors can receive the real-time image here. And when the clinicians conduct uh, ultrasound section, other experts, if they want to adjust the parameter, they can do it by themselves, like here on the on the lower on the lower left corner, you can see here is the mobile phone interface of our WeCloud platform. And during in, in this platform, you can adjust, reversely adjust the parameter if you want to like give some advice to the doctor who is scanning the patient, or you want to see like more data or more par parameters of the, the, the patient. So one another disadvantage, uh, another advantage of this uh, we cloud platform is you don't need to download another like third party applications to initiate the tele uh, teleconsultation because we this system was built in in our machine already and you can just initiate the teleconsultation easily. Okay, and here's some image of how we how we fighting we fight against the COVID nineteen because um, you know during the pandemic time some doctor it, it's not very convenient for doctors to uh, have a like large group of meeting with other doctors to uh, kind of discuss the patients, especially some difficult case. So in our tele, tele, teleconsultation function, you can just initiate the remote um, remote consultation easily during our, you can see that our machine here is Clover and you can see Nappy here. Yeah, it's kind of popular during the pandemic time, especially the worst periods in 2020. And next one, next one is the real time sharing. I think uh, the week call, the teleconsultation is one of the way to sharing. But here is we, we, we have the QR code. So what is that? All of all, the, all series of our ultrasound machine have we cloud platform. And if users want to save an image or video during the scanning, our machines contain, contain the 4G or even 5G card. So after picture or the video are saved, a QR code will be generated immediately. And you can see it in the upper right corner here. And when you click the, the the QR code, it will pop up and you can use your phone to scan the QR code directly, use the, your camera to scan it directly and the image or the video will come out like immediately and you can save it um, by your own in your phone and it can be your kind of reference um, to next meeting or next lecture to share it to your, your colleague. So finally, we got our last part is the marketing strategy. So we got, we have a lot of, we suddenly have a lot of online marketing activity. So uh, we have contrib contributed on creating a free ultrasound learning platform to our followers by inviting the medical experts specialized in different fields around the world. We named this platform as Resonate Deadline Colleague 
the reason is that when you when you blow to a dead lion's head, you can you can see that the seed of that lion is fly. So we thought we want to carry the seed of medical knowledge to everyone everywhere around the world. So so far. There were there is more than 800 webinars held, and a large amount of prestigious experts have told uh, in that that line college, including the the Paul Kessler, uh, who is a very prestigious uh, expert from the Orthopedic University Clinic in Frankfurt, and the Dr. Kamaka and is also another prestigious experts in Pacific Asia. So many of them. I know like during the pandemic, but uh, we still have a lot of physical events or conference like this one, the, the, the medical, uh, the Singapore medical fair like coming in next month. And we do have another one uh, in New Zealand in the month in next month as well. So we do have the RSNA and Medica at the end of this year. So we are very like, we are very looking forward to seeing you like physically face to face. I think that's all my presentation. Thanks for listening. Thank you so much, Shine. So same thing, um, if you do have questions for her or regarding um, Resonics products, please feel free to submit your questions via the Q&A button. And uh, we can take this after the next presentation. So take your time to submit your questions. Meanwhile, we will hand over to Nick from My Medical Tech. Nick, over to you, please. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Nick from Medical Tech. Um, before start the presentation, I would like to uh, introduce myself. My name is Nick Liu. I, I am the sales and marketing manager of medical tech company. Um, and our slogan is the future with a revolution to these 3D visual, visualization resolutions. Um, here it's a little bit about our history of the company. Actually, this company is owned by a very huge hospital, um, Koshou Chuan Hospital in Taiwan. Um, we have like nine hospitals in Taiwan and uh, the very special thing is that we own a training center. It's called Eka Taiwan, um, which is the biggest minimal invasive surgery training center in Asia. Um, so because before um, this company established, we were the uh, R&D department of the Eka Taiwan and uh, we found out there are many many from um, the surgeons. So we spin off from the Eka Taiwan and the phone, a company called Medical Tech. Um, as I mentioned that, that we were um, a research and a developed team of uh, Yoka Taiwan. So we have many um, um, uh, experts of surgery from uh, any part of the world, including uh, the founder of EARCAP, Professor Marosco, who is a very famous um, um, surgeon in France, in Europe. Um, he, he taught a lot of students around the world for, the, for doing the laparoscopy surgery. So um, this is one of his idea to, to form this company. And uh, um, because of the Yaka Taiwan, um, we, we, we strategic, we, we strategic focus a lot of the uh, main need from uh, many surgeons. So our product is very convinced because of this. Okay, so we always call ourselves as the medical Im image revolutionary leader. Why we say that? It's because um, the main product of our, our company is a 3D visualization system for endoscopic surgery. So you, you, why we need 3D? The 3D, it means that you can see this uh, person, handsome person here. Uh, he covers his one eyes to drive. But have you tried this before? If you drive a car and then you cover one eyes, when you want to drive it into the tunnel, you will see the tunnel like this. The picture like this. So it means that um, the image will flat. So you don't know where, where exactly the tunnel is going to come to your car. So that it's very dangerous. And the, why the surgeons use the 2D to do the surgery? Isn't it not safe? Yes, yes, it's not safe. If you have the 3D vision, you can see this the happy man here. He drive a car with his two eyes, and when he he, he drive uh, near the close to the tunnel, 
okay, you will see that, oh, the terminal is, is something like this. That is the depth. There's a depth. So um, if you have chance to go to the surgery or you have chance to, um, to, 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 to be, to be uh, examined by the doctors, you ask them for the 3D because um, if they use the 2D, it means that they, they cover one eye to help you to do the examination or to do the surgery. That is not safe. Trust me. Okay, so this is idea. It's it, 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 so we have this idea. Why why surgeons they have two eyes and but they watch the flat screen for the surgery? It's not not nature. So um, we create a system which we can convert the two D endoscope um, image into three D. So this picture you can see this. This is two D image. So that is very flat, right? So by using our system, you can turn the two D image into three D like this. Is more stereo and it's more real. Okay, so by 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 this amendment, we decided to uh, devote ourselves into developing the three D endoscope system. Um, so we start our company from two thousand and fifteen. We spin off from Yaka Taiwan, and then we make our first version of the three D visualization system, which called Mono Stereo three D. And uh, by by developing this product until the two thousand twenty first, we launch the next gener generation of the Monosterio 3D, which we call it Darwin. And uh, this um, product will be uh, the main product which we are, I am going to present to you today. Okay, so um, the product concept is that we give the 2D endoscope vision the depth so, and that is very important. Okay, so um, also can keep 2D C3D. It means that in hospital, you just keep your 2D endoscopy system. You remain your system. Doesn't matter you have the Striker, Olympus, Stores, or Fujifilm. You just keep it. And you just simply add a box from us, from Medical Tech, that is a Darwin and a Mono Stereo. You have, you have the product here, and that we will call, compute the 2D image, and then we convert it to 3D. So it's simple, and it's very cost-effective. OK, so we have two product line. One is the Darwin system, which it's it's the, the more advanced and also uh, more um, 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 cutting edge for the 2D to 3D system. So you just simply connect the 2D signal and you can use the touch panel to switch um, the, your image between 2D and 3D. So, and also we have the human factor adjustment, which uh, will help the um, doctors to reduce the dizziness. Because sometimes if you watch the 3D movie, you will feel headache. So if you feel headache, you just switch, um, you switch the disparity here. So you can reduce the, um, uh, the effect, 3D effect by, by your pre preference. For example, if you are a doctor who uh, you easy to get dizziness, so you can switch to level one, which is the weakest. But if you are OK with the strong 3D effect, you can switch to level five. And also, this system can, can, can convert the, the endoscopy data matter is it's flexible or rigid, rigid uh, endoscopy. OK, so it means that gastroenterology and uh, it can be used for the surgery, too. And how we make it, it's, 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 it's easy because the, you know there is a, the 3D endoscopy system, um, which is made by um, door lens 3D, but we don't use the door lens. It's simple. We use the, 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 the single lens endoscopy. So it means that we capture the 2D endoscopy image and we give it a depth map, and then we separate into the left eye and right eyes, and we, come, we, we, we make it become 3D vision. So the depth map, the concept of depth map is easy. It's like this, this handsome man here. He is standing, his hand is very close to the endoscope, the camera, okay? So you can see the depth map, but that is the red because it's very close to the camera. Like my hand now is very close to, to the camera. So in the mono stereo or in the Darwin, it means that that would be in red color. And then we, 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 we um, process the, the, video, uh, the, the image like this. So um, the far way is the bookshelf. So that would be in the blue color. And why the 3D is important? 3D depth information is important. It's that because the over 75% surgeons prefer the 3D vision because that is natural. You can see the something in stereo. Why you choose 2D? And over 80% of surgeons think that 3D is very helpful for them. 
and also that increase um, uh, 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 increase the the uh, benefit of you uh, shorten the um, search call time. It means that if you use 3D, you will do the uh, surgery faster and easier. Okay, so by applying medical tech assistant is easy because you just uh, keep your 2D endoscope there and uh, you have the 3D effects, which can um, give you a choice to choose you want very depth 3D or you want to just mild 3D. And also the cost is lower because you just need a box from us, a console, a machine from us and with a 3D monitor. And then the surgeons can have the 3D. Okay, so this is a comparison between, um, you know, the Carl Stoltz and the Olympus. Those two brands are very famous in making the endoscope. They all have their 3D system, but trust me that it's cost fortune for the hospitals. If they want to have the 3D, they need to spend a lot of love of money to replace the entire system. But by using mono stereo or Darwin system, that it's cheaper because you only add a, 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 a box and with a 3D monitor and that it can apply for every endoscopic surgery or the examination, which the Olympus and the stores cannot do it. So this is why um, we have this system in the market. So as I mentioned that all the endoscopic surgery can be turned to into 3D. So you can see the ENT, urinology, general surgery, gynecology, and gastroenterology. All the procedure or surgeries needs to be uh, used by um, the endoscopy you can turn it to 3D. So that is a hot topic that bronchoscopy because you know the COVID-19, a lot of people, uh, they got the, the, the COVID-19 disease. After the COVID-19, they need to do the examination after, after if that get too serious, they need to use the bronchoscopy to check your lung. Okay, but that, the bronchoscopy is very thin and flexible. So sometimes if you put the, the scope into the lung, the surgeon will be hard to, to, to locate. Uh, where the, 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 the problem is. So uh, by using the 3D, that would be helpful because the, you, know, you can see the bronch here, they are very thin. So if you use a 3D endoscopy, that will help them to identify where the symptom is. And also for the chronoscopy and gastroenterology, medical tech is the first one to, um, to introduce this 3D technology to the chronoscopy and gastroenterology. Scopy. So if you go to the examination, you will not see 3D solution at this uh, stage because we are the first one to do this. So um, if the surgeons, or, or if you want to do the gastroenterology, ask your surgeons to say that, to, or your doctor to say that if you have 3D, they will say no. So we are the first one in the world. Okay, and also for the ENT, uh, for because the ear is small, um, so, um, so, um, there is no 3D solution as well. For, for the ENT surgery, 3D is useful as well, especially for the ear, because the Asian people, the ear hole is only three millimeter, that's small. So that is not possible for 3D, but by using our system, we can do the 3D. And also we have the recorder, which can record the 3D image and the 4K and also 2D. Um, if you want to purchase the Darwin system from us, we will give the last calls for free during the uh, uh, medical fair. And also we create the 3D clinic, which it's allow doctor to do the 3D examination. And after the examination, um, the surgeons, uh, the, the patients can watch the 3D from their stomach with the, the, the doctors and by using Darwin and also Las Cox medical recorder. And uh, there's a famous singer from Taiwan. Um, she experienced the 3D examination and she watched uh, her uh, video examination image after the examination. Okay, so um, isn't that look handsome for the doctors to wear the 3D glass to do the surgery? Okay, so um, this is a very famous doctor from Taiwan. Um, he he practices the 3D single post surgery by using five millimeter scope, and uh, he finished the first uh, 3D single pore surgery. And this is a Japanese doctor. His name is Doctor Idoi. He used our system to do the 3D ERCP um, examination uh, in Japan. And welcome to visit us. Um, we are going to Singapore um, and our hall is in 2T and the number 20. So if you are um, interested in our 3D image, please come and see us. Thank you and uh, please feel free to contact me if you have any questions.
Thanks so much, Nick. So yes, if you have questions for Nick or regarding uh, medical tax products, please feel free to submit your questions via the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. So in the meantime, while you are preparing your questions, if you have any, let me also share some information on our upcoming show. So all three exhibitors will be at uh, Medical Fair Asia, which will be held from 31st August to 2nd September at Marina Bay Sands. So if you have not registered, please register to join us. Let me just share our screen here. Okay. So yes, if you have not uh, registered to join us, please do so. Visitor registration is still available online via our website. So if you would scan this QR code, it will bring you directly to the page. Uh, it's a quick form for you to complete and you'll receive your login details immediately that will allow you to already connect with our exhibitors in our digital edition platform. And at the same time to access our event mobile app for your e-batch to get ready to, to come on site to enter the exhibition halls. So let us take a look and see if there are any questions. Okay, it looks like we don't have any questions um, for the last two speakers. So in any case, if any questions do come to you later, feel free to email it to us at medicalfed-asia at mda.com.sg and we'll be happy to connect you to the speakers. This session is also being recorded and will be available for on-demand viewing uh, if you have missed any parts in the front um, or if you have colleagues who have missed today's session, uh, please get them to register. They will get a login to our digital edition platform and they will be able to view this video on demand. With that, thank you very much for joining us today. We'll see you in two weeks' time in Marina Bay Sands at Basement 2 from 31st August to 2nd September. Thank you and goodbye.